The Edward Snowden affair has been called by many the most significant leak of classified information in U.S. history. The case of this former CIA employee who released NSA documents to the press has brought upon serious discussions, even here in Israel, in regards to the thin line between ensuring security and invading personal privacy. The Snowden affair uh, makes or, or causes such huge havoc, if you want, um, primarily because it is spying on your friends. America doesn't spy only uh, on its enemies, but on, also on its friends. Friends mean both the people and the leaders as well. And I think that the more uh, delicate point here is uh, spying on the leaders who are considered the friends of the United States. Do you believe it is correct to spy or to collect information on an ally? Well, it might be correct if the information that you collect is very useful for your national security. I don't know what the American tried to obtain by listening to Angela Merkel, for example. Perhaps it was very important for American national security. In this case, it sounds to me that uh, the damage is a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger than the, the, the benefit that the, the Americans could expect to get from such an activity. Now, what can you say about the Israeli intelligence? I think that Israel has one of the most, perhaps the most effective intelligence community. I think that the budget of the Israeli intelligence community is about three, four, five percent less than that maybe, of the American intelligence community, which is about $75 billion a year. And um, I think that Israel has excellent uh, information, I mean, collection capabilities, a very good uh, analytical capabilities, and we saw during the last years also some types of operations that are related to Israel, for example, in Iran, and they show a very effective intelligence community, both in terms of collections and operation. In a country like Israel, high on security, widely known for its Mossad, the Shin Bet, and intelligence units in the army, many understand the need for collecting intelligence. I think that um, government should tap the private conversations of people in favor of uh, national security. Intelligence is about learning things that are not obvious and not out there, so you must we must uh, interfere with uh, people's uh, privacy. If it's under the laws and the government doesn't do it like in a very harmful way, um, I think it's okay and it's a positive thing and it's very important. There are no red lines uh, because we never know who is suspect and who is not a suspect. Everyone that uses uh, digital uh, media should know that uh, he might be stalked. Is it moral to collect information on your own citizens? Intelligence is not about morality. Of course you do things which are considered as essential to protect your national security. However, what the Americans are doing is a mess, massive, listening to everyone, to every type of talk, telephone talk, uh, uh, email message, etc., etc., and this mass production of intelligence becomes a little bit immoral, yes, even for the Americans. It appears that the act of spying and collecting of information has always taken place all the way from the time of the Bible. Experts point out that there just wasn't always someone to publicize it, like in the recent Snowden affair. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv. Israel.